Pastor Mark here. It is Friday. It's a glorious day. It's outside. I thought I'd come outside and enjoy the weather a little bit. Today's scripture I want to share with you. You've probably seen it at the end zone of every football game or in the stands. Somebody holds up a, a billboard, a cardboard box or something with John 3.16 uh, written on it. So here it is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned. South Minneapolis pause here for the plane going overhead. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. Again, we continue with the theme of light in the Gospel of John. And we hear these words, for God so loved the world, and then the flip side, we, there's condemnation also. But I would like us to, to focus on, on the positive. What are we doing that is good and honorable and true? And if we do that, we don't need to even hear the condemnation because our actions are true. They are in the light, so to speak. So think about that this weekend. Have some time with your family and ponder John 3.16. What brings light into your world and how can you bring light into the world of someone else, the neighbor, our community, your church, your gatherings, whatever that may be. And let's dwell on the joy in the text and that the light reveals so many things. Let the light reveal the good things in your life, you, the good responses and the good thoughts. And let's dwell on those and think of those and bring those into our lives and into our community. We're not together physically, but we are spiritually. Hope you have a great weekend and hope to see you on Tuesday. Take good care.